Hello everyone, in this tutorial I would like to speak a little bit about the space claim and the pull tool that you have uh, available in the space claim. Uh, for that reason I have already the space claim opened and I'm actually in the sketch mode. So I will try to draw a rectangle, a very simple rectangle like this. And then I'll go to 3D mode and the pull option is active. So in the pull uh, tool, you have several tools. You have uh, like pull direction, you have revolve, you have draft, you have uh, sweep, and you have scale body, and there are two additional options or additional tools like up to and full pull, which I'll show you later how they work. So the first one is uh, actually this pull direction. Since my surface is already selected, I'll select this uh, pull direction and you have uh, two directions either up and down and you can pull your surface up and down and uh, create your 3D geometry. Uh, so this one is pretty easy. So if I delete this solid and uh, try to describe the other one which is revolve, I'll go back to a sketch mode again and then I'll try to sketch a rectangle again or maybe yeah, a rectangle is fine. I'll draw a rectangle, I'll go back to 3D mode and this time select I, my surface, select revolve and then I have to select an axis in which I want to rotate my surface around. So let's select this x-axis and then you see you can easily rotate 100 degrees, 50 degrees, whatever degrees you want you can simply type it there, let's type 20 degrees or actually it's a good uh, it's a good time to 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 describe this full pull you can simply click on full pull and it will rotate uh, 360 degrees hopefully yes you see that how the full pull is also working so the revolve is also very simple straightforward i can now delete my solid and uh, describe draft a little bit how the draft is working and uh, for that reason I have like uh, my draft here open I have already worked on this one but uh, actually we can do it again uh, let's go back to this design number f uh, design 5 and go back to sketch mode and then create a solid again uh, actually a rectangle again and then I pull this rectangle uh, I would like to pull it I would like to pull it go to 3D mode pull it direction select the surface first pull direction yeah and then if I go back to pull and I select this draft and then it says pick a plane to draft about so first you pick this plane that you want to draft about that one so I choose I choose this one and then you can select the you can select the surfaces or the planes that you want to draft about this one so mm -hmm. for that for example I pick this one and then just by dragging and back and forth my mouth you can see that how this surface is being drafted around this base uh, actually this base surface on the top so either you can pick one or you can select several so uh, let's do it again with several select I select this top surface pull and then draft I play I pick this plane that I want to draft about and then I select the other surfaces or the, the other planes that I want to draft I pick this one that one that one and that one so I'm just keeping the control to select all of them together and then you can see that how the surfaces are being drafted uh, along or about that top surface so this was one example uh, how the draft is working or you can uh, for example draft around uh, let's make another one I'll delete this one I'm in the I'm actually on the sketch mode again. I draw a rectangle, pull, select the surface, that one. Then I have a 3D geometry, I press home. Then I select pull. 
and then in this time I select this edge and you see how you can chamfer the edge simply like this and then again I click on pull draft this time I pick this surface which is uh, which I would like to draft my other or my other surface around this one I, I select this and then this face I select and you can see it's simply being drafted around that one so how this is how the draft is working and then you have another one which is sweep sweep is also very useful especially when you want to create like a spring or something sweep is very useful uh, I think I have several sweep models here yeah so here for example you can see that how I have swept um, this hole in the middle of this uh, uh, cube uh, along this path that I have created I can make it again but I'm just showing how this sweep is actually working or how I have swept a rectangle on top of this one around this one on this edge or I have uh, swept this little <clears throat> circle again uh, along this path. Okay, let's get back to the sweep and do this example for you to see how this one is created. So I'll go to sketch mode. I'll create a simple rectangle here on the surface. Then I'll go back to 3D mode. Then just pull this a little bit to the down then I go back to sketch mode I select this top surface make a small circle here go back to 3d mode I choose pull I choose this one and make sure to select the cut because you want to make a hole and all the way down you see the cut is made through looks fine then I go back to sketch again play, uh, because I would like to make a spill line or a path and then this that that's it and then I go back to 3d mode again and I press home so I'll go back to pool so this time I'll I'll select this axis this axis that is going through the center of the circle this one is selected then sweep then I think the axis is not selected so the axis is now selected then I click on sweep then I pick this one and you see this hole is going all the way so this example is one example to show how the sweep is working but then I have another example here which uh, I would like to sweep a rectangle on top of this around this edge so this one is already created then I select the plane and this plane and then I just move this plane up to this one and then I'll go back to sketch mode but this time I select this plane so let's make a small rectangle on top of that then I go back to 3D mode and pull sweep let's select this surface first and then sweep and then along this axis and you see how this one is swept along that path and then in the pool the last option you have or the last tool you have is a scale body so for example if you select this face and then keep the control and double click you see that the whole body is selected and then you have this scale uh, scale body and then you have to pick an anchor point to scale the body from let's say we would like to select it from we would like to scale it starting from here and then just by dragging you can scale it up and down simply like this so this was a tutorial about the pool options that you have in the space claim i hope you have enjoyed and learned something thank you very much uh, until next
tutorial.